Can you imagine being able to take your old t-shirts or t-shirts that you get from the thrift store and make this milkmaid top or this whole sundress or even this two-piece set with only scissors and maybe a safety pin sometimes? Don't believe me? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Now, I make all types of upcycles, but if you're looking for a way to transform old t-shirts without a sewing machine, without a thread and needle, without glue, then I have 12 scissors only ways to transform old t-shirts. Let's do it. All right, first, let's start off with a couple alternative ways to crop an oversized t-shirt. All right, number one is this bear t-shirt that I got. I went to this amazing video vintage store where if you're looking for just like those old school t-shirt type things I found this one I am from Chicago so this was a natural like I'm going to get this but I didn't want it to fit like this so I just thought like what can I do that isn't just a straight across crop because I get tired of those sometimes so I decided to do an inverted circle and all I did was just take the scissors make a like a really rough cut in a circle and leave the sides hanging down I cannot tell you how much I love this effect when I say I love Love this effect I love this effect I've done several others after that and yeah it's just a really interesting way to do it and you can also tie them in the front tie it in the back tie it you know however you want if you get tired of the things hanging down so I love this one and next up similar to that I did a circle crop after I did the inverted circle my sister told me like hey you know like why don't you do a circle because not everybody wants their stomach out I said yes let's do that so here you can see me cutting this made in Chicago shirt once again these are my two Chicago shirts um, and I'm just cutting it where it's longer in the front and then I curve once I'm going up towards the sides and I love this effect because you can make this trust me when I, whenever I'm talking about something, you guys definitely keep your minds open and remember, you can make something as long or as short as you want to to suit you. Keep on the sleeves, take off the sleeves, cut it long, cut it short, however you like. And so I decided to cut this one where it was just covering a little bit more of my stomach and then come up on the sides to just reveal a little bit of the sides. So there you have it, two really cute ways to crop an oversized t-shirt. All right, so next up we have a couple of really cute ways to beat the heat. We're still in the summer and here in Houston is gonna be summer for a while so if you're looking to cut up some t-shirts and just create some alternative ways to give yourself a little circulation then here's some ideas for you and remember the link to every single one of the full tutorials for each of these is in the description box below all right can we get into a one shoulder moment one shoulders are really hot right now or have been this summer and just asymmetrical things in general and this is just such a like so easy way to just take a shirt cut it across the chest right here to under your arm open it up at the bottom, tie it on the side, and there you go, a one shoulder t-shirt. And then if you want just minimal cutouts, like I said, you can leave the sleeves on this one or you can take them off like you see me doing here. Then I just added some cutouts right along the neck right here and also cut off the neck. I added a piece of t-shirt yarn in the neck to make this tie. And this is just so super cute. You could wear it on the shoulder, off the shoulder, however you like. It's like a new play on the cold shoulder. So I'm digging that and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for definitely hit that subscribe button down below i have so many different types of upcycles whether you're talking about the easy the no so like we're doing today all the way up to the most amazing epic upcycles ever so definitely hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything and turn on all notifications and you also have an opportunity to join my members only group that is a group where you can either take a class by me or you can watch my live interviews every monday night at 6 p.m central standard time so definitely hit that join button down below to learn about all the perks and we'll get back to the video all right so next i'm gonna teach you a technique that if you know this technique you can make all types of things with t-shirts and i'm gonna give you some really good examples so t-shirt yarn is actually just strips of t-shirt that you cut cut a one inch strip stretch it and now you have a piece of yarn. There are people who make whole 
things like whole like just like you would crochet something with yarn they use t-shirt yarn with it now I'm not into crochet but I really do like what you can do with it to alter t-shirts so if you take a t-shirt and you fold it up on its edge whatever that edge may be and you make little slits those slits could be in between one inch apart a half an inch apart all the way to maybe an inch and a half apart right on that fold line just the tiniest slits not huge slits you want to make them as small as you can right on that edge all along then you take the t-shirt yarn with a safety pin and you weave it in and out all along the t-shirt and voila i promise you i'm gonna show you i promise you you can make some amazing things like this ringer tee that i bought i just really wanted a way to give it a little pizzazz and so i was like okay what about a ruffle bottom but if you don't want to sew this is the method for you i cut off a piece of the bottom and i overlaid it on top of the bottom edge of the t-shirt then i folded the whole bottom edge in half made the little slits all along that fold use the safety pin with the t-shirt yarn weave it in and out from the middle all the way around back to the middle you tie it and there you go I love this one because it looks really cute just wide and kind of open and you still gives you the ruffle but then you know I love a two-for-one then if you want to drawstring it in you can also wear it tighter and it gives it a different effect and so I think this is really really cute and guys like i'm serious about this technique once you learn it you're gonna be like t-shirt yarn and everything and here's another method that if you learn this in combination with the last one oh my gosh you're gonna be going places you can actually alter t-shirts by just taking the edge of the t-shirt and cutting one inch slits across the t-shirt then if you tie one side to the other tie one side of the slit to the other side of the slit you can create almost like a seam and the seam is actually really cool because it's kind of see-through but not depending on how tight you tie the little slits and so if you use this method it's a method that I have used to take something in and also to create whole garments let me show you with this orange top I combine the idea of the t-shirt yarn and tying on the sides and all I used was the bottom of the t-shirt the part that's underneath the arm and then I took the sides however much I wanted it to take it in on the sides turned it inside out and I slid it that much to make it fit me on the sides and then I just tied it on the side so now it's fitted on the sides and then for that extra part at the top I folded that down and I made little slits right on the fold line just like we said before cut a one inch piece of the scrap stretched it use it as a t-shirt yarn wove it through there and now I have the cutest little halter top ever this thing oh I love it so much and then you can even use the t-shirt yarn to tie it in several different ways like i said you guys know i love a two for one and this is no exception all right so let's talk about another one where i am simply using this tying method and that is it i was at the thrift store and i found a bunch of oversized t-shirts and i used one t-shirt to make a skirt i just cut it made two panels one for the front of me one for the back of me and i walked my fingers in on the side and pinned it so that it would fit me like a fitted skirt and then I laid it flat cut those slits on the side just like we talked about one inch apart took the time to tie each one and I also use another one of the t-shirts for a matching top basically just like a bandeau just one long strip made slits on one end of it to tie so I could get that fringe effect in the front and then just wrapped it around me and tied it in the back it's just a nice little bandeau top with a matching skirt perfect for this end of summer vacation that you might be about to take or just save this video and use it for next summer all right so here's one for all you guys like me who are tired of going to the thrift store and seeing all all of these t-shirts that you know nobody's gonna want family reunion t-shirts company logo t-shirts boarding events t-shirts like 4k run 5k run you know um, those type of t-shirts that you know are probably not gonna sell here's one for you you can take those t-shirts and if you find one where you like the front of it and you find another one where you like the back of it you can cut the front from the back and then just use my t-shirt yarn method to combine the two I just laid them flat 
folded it over on the side, made the slits, made alternative color t-shirt yarn, and I actually wove it in with the safety pins as if I was lacing my shoe. This is a super cute effect, especially if like you're a soccer mom or any type of sports mom, you could wear this to an event and it's just like, it would be super, super cute. I can just see it now. All right, so now if you wanna get a little spicy, here's one I wanted to create because you guys always ask me about peplum. How do you do it and make a peplum? Because like I said, you can create these things to be as long or as short as you want. And I want to give you guys the alternative to create something to cover a lot of the things that you guys are trying to cover. And keep in mind, you can leave on the sleeves for this one. So I went about trying to create this. I cut off the sleeves and then I folded it in half so that I can cut a V in the front and cut the rest loops. At this point, it was kind of like a vest. And then I folded it up about five inches, made the slits one inch apart right along the fold and used the scraps to make t-shirt yarn to weave a tie to close it in the middle. Now, the problem is, is that I made it a little bit too long. And the truth is, whenever you cut the sleeves off of an oversized shirt, you are going to get this way open on you. And so I didn't like that. So I was like, hmm, how can I use this same effect to fix my issue? And oh my gosh, I love this fix. All I did was take the edge underneath the arm, fold it down, make the little slits right along the edge, take extra t-shirt yarn and use it to gather under the arms. And then I let the ties hang down once it's gathered. I love a good tie hanging down, straps hanging down. Love, love, love it. And I love this one. Once again, it's a two for one. I could wear it where it's closing in the back and it's like an open back. And then I can also wear it where it closes in the front. And actually what I did was I took the little ties from underneath the arms and I crisscrossed them and tied them under my chest. So like this, tied under that tied it there and it gave this effect. Yes, it's a little ba ba boom, but yes, it's giving. And here's another one for you guys. So I was asked to make this top out of a men's dress shirt, but I decided for my no so people out there, I would make it with a t-shirt as well. And so I folded the back of a t-shirt and cut it up the back. Then I cut a curve from the neck down all the way through what would have been the front of the shirt, which is now the back of the shirt. The reason I cut the back of the shirt is just because it was longer and I'm going to be tying this around my neck. And in order to make it fit, I just used my t-shirt yarn method right along the back and made little knots on the side, ties on the side to gather it. And now it can fit however you like. If you want it to be closed, just add a little t-shirt yarn in the front. And definitely if you want it to close, close, you can also use an oversized t-shirt. And next up is one of you guys' absolute favorites. And it is the Milk Maid Top. I did the peplum. And so just like we did the orange one with one layer where we folded it over, this one we are actually doing two layers and then folded both of those layers over, made the snips right along the fold line and then opened it back up and added the t-shirt yarn under the fold. So that once you gather it and fold it back over, since the layers are so short, it gives you this nice little ruffle effect at the top. I love this one. This one is doing everything I needed to do. And then I took two extra pieces of t-shirt yarn, tied them right here and in the back to make straps. And last up is the most extreme project I've done with the t-shirt yarn and it's making a whole sundress. We actually used six t-shirts for this. I bought t-shirts that I thought the colors would look cohesive together and also t-shirts that I didn't think they would sell at the thrift store. Now, we did use Hey Hey for another t-shirt that you can see in another video. If you want more of t-shirt of cycles, definitely check the description box, I have more for you. But I just took the box of all these t-shirts, cut all of them underneath, right underneath the arms, and then use them as layers and then connected them so that the further I got down, the more t-shirts I used. So at the bottom, we're using two t-shirts, um, one for the front, one for the back. In this simple tutorial, I teach you the math. It's simple math. I teach you the math at how to estimate 
how far your slits go apart. All the rest of them, it doesn't matter how far your slits are apart. This is the only one where you kind of have to be concerned because you're connecting two layers that may not necessarily be the same width. And so in order to make them gather together, you just want to make sure you have the same amount of slits on each layer. Or you can't estimate. You can just say, hey, I'm not doing the math. I just want them all, each layer to have 45 slits just cut 45 <laughs> slits and keep it moving however you want to do it just get it done and i love how this sundress turned out it is the cutest little thing and i can see so many just different things i could do with it i could take off a layer make it shorter for one day and i'm so glad you guys love this one so definitely let me know in the comments which of these 12 has been your favorite, which ones you are going to try or which one you've already tried. All right, I have other videos for you guys to watch right here. And definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And if you want to start upcycling more, you want to get together with other like-minded people who love upcycling, definitely hit that join button and learn more about my members only group. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.